Welcome to the video for Seminar 8. This video is about crop management and pest control, which is what we will talk about throughout our Unit 8. Crop management and pest control are very important aspects to your permaculture production course. You will need to know how to manage your crops throughout the various seasons, as well as how to identify pests and treat for pests without using any synthetic chemicals. Some of the permaculture practices involve using imitations of our natural ecological systems. These have been studied and practiced for many, many years. Some of them include using beneficial insects for our pest control, as well as non-synthetic materials for pest control. Some of them include introducing natural enemies. Others include plant placement. Plant placement can be used for both weed control and pest control. We will go more in depth about what types of plants can help control various weeds and can help keep away different pests. Many of these practices are built off of ideas of the natural ecological systems within which we are growing our fruits and vegetables. They can always be added upon based on your own observations and your own knowledge of your land. Much of your crop management will be done by practicing throughout our course in our field lab. But some of the ideas I wanted to bring to light are crop maintenance that will need to happen throughout the various stages of your growing and throughout your production systems. One of the ways that we use our field methods in order to manage our crops and to control our pests is by planning for a design system to have some of these different methods. You can plan your system so that you have different aspects of it in place to have the lowest maintenance and essentially to have the most maximum yields. Some of these things we have discussed in previous videos and previous seminars, such as your companion planting relationships, your plant guilds, and your fruit trees, as well as your shading planning and your beneficial insect plant relationships. Pest control and management can be very difficult, but there are many, many techniques that we can study and that we can use as examples to build on in our permaculture systems. The first is using non-synthetic pesticides. There are very di various different non-synthetic pesticides as well as some organic materials that will, will help, help to you. deter many different pests. There are also biological pest controls that can be put into place, such as introducing beneficial carnivorous insects. There are also parasitoid insects that will feed on the pest. The third thing in biological pest control is your habitat manipulation. You can manipulate your habitat in order to suppress all of these pests. A big deterrent could be flowers or different sprays or even different vegetables.
This will conclude the video about crop maintenance and pest control. This is supposed to add to a basis of your knowledge about crop maintenance as well as biological pest controls. Thank you.